If Jesus is God, I would like you to show me one verse, only one statement anywhere in your Bible, any version of the Bible where Jesus says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. There is not a single unequivocal statement, not a single unambiguous statement. In the complete Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says, that I am God or where he says worship me. <laughs> Ahmadi Dad and his parents Zach and Ike challenged us to show them where in the New Testament Jesus says, I am God or worship me. Sure, why not? Challenge accepted. First, let us go to Ezekiel 37, 27, which is in the Old Testament. God here says, my dwelling place will be with them. I will be their God and they will be my people. And if we go to Jeremiah 24, 7, which is also in the Old Testament, here again God says, they will be my people and I will be their God. As you see, in the Old Testament, God himself claimed to be the God of his people. Let us now go to the New Testament and prove that Jesus said exactly the same, claiming to be that same God of the Old Testament. This is the book of Revelation 21, 7. So John the apostle said, and he said to me, meaning Jesus, it is done. I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirsts. So Jesus is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And he is the fountain of life. The one who is victorious will inherit these things. And I, Jesus said, will be his God and he will be my son. As you see, Jesus Christ claimed to be that same God of the Old Testament who spoke the same words. Jesus Christ confirmed and made it known again to everybody in the New Testament that he is that same God of the Old Testament speaking the same words again. Jesus said, and I quote, I will be his Theos in the Greek, meaning his God, and he will be my son. That wasn't too hard, was it? What an embarrassing challenge from Ahmadidad and his parrot Zach and Ike. Now Ahmadidad tried to save himself and said, Well, the book of Revelation is only a dream. Let us hear exactly what he said and see for yourself how he even buried his own prophet Muhammad. Watch. It's the only place and this is a dream, a vision that John had seen. And in dreams we dream anything. You know, look, it is not historical, it is not factual. Uh, an imagination of man and we all it happens to me sometimes when I eat too much then you have these dreams this indigestible thing too much meat and you go to sleep and then you dream you have uh, nightmares so this is like a man who is dreaming so according to the dad the book of revelation is an imagination of a man and he said the apostle John ate too much maybe John had a nightmare thinking it was our Lord Jesus Christ talking to him so the dad literally calls the divine revelation nonsense a nightmare. Wow! Well, my friends, the dad forgot one important thing. His own false prophet Muhammad used to receive divine inspiration through dreams. Wow! Was this hypocrite, this munafiq, even a real Muslim? Clearly he was not. The dad just basically called his own prophet a liar and he left Islam. He was an apostate. The dreams of Muhammad are nothing but nightmares because Rasulullah ate too much and started to see nightmares. The dreams of Muhammad were not divine revelation from Allah, but nightmares clearly from Satan, according to Didat. Maybe. Do you see how Didat shot himself and his false prophet in the feet? Oh boy. So we have to conclude that Didat was never a Muslim to begin with. He only did it for money and fame. In the end, he became mute and died a painful cursed death for his blasphemies against Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Bible. Be warned, my stone-kissing Muslim friends. Know the consequences when you try to follow the footsteps of such deceivers like the dad and his parrot, Zach and Ike.